So, what do I think of Trump finally getting arrested and formally charged with multiple felonies? Well, uh, for anyone who knows me, I am not a fan of Trump. I hate this racist, scumbag piece of shit. Uh, I hate him because he's a racist, because he's a homophobe, because he's a transphobe, because he's a Islamophobe, because he's uh, he hates everyone except himself. Okay? Like, the reasons why to hate Drumpf are too many to count. So let's just get right into the meat here, okay? Drumpf finally, finally has been indicted. Now, my first reaction is, finally! Sounding a little redundant there, but it has to be said that for a lot of us, we've been waiting so long for this to happen. And it just was never happening. You know, there were... Like, look at the Justice Department, Merrick Garland. He's still sitting on his fucking hands. And why is that? It's because of uh, cowardice and also a lot of corruption. But we have a great DA in New York City who finally had the courage to stand up to this piece of shit. And it took a black man to do it. A lot of other people were also uh, working very hard to do this. A lot of non-white people, and that needs to be said. Okay, if you have... Nothing but white people in positions of power, these racists will never be held to account. I'm just telling you right now. So that's why it's necessary for progressives and other non-white people to get involved in politics, get involved in the criminal justice system, law enforcement, military, positions of power. Otherwise, white people are just going to keep on oppressing non-whites forever. Okay. Unfortunately, that's just how things are. Now, some people are wondering, why is it that the one indictment that we're getting after so long... And remember, this is nothing new. This was known all the way back when he was president. It's 2023 now. So, why this, though? Do, and do I personally give a shit? about the Stormy Daniels payment. (laughs) First of all, Stormy Daniels. And uh, I wish I had some photos of her that I could show off (laughs) because she's a lot nicer to look at than Trump, but we'll just bear with this uh, retarded-looking photo (laughs) of Trump where he's trying to imitate a retard but looking like one himself because he is one. Um, Now, do I give a shit about him paying hush money to Stormy Daniels? First of all, holy shit, he must be kicking himself in the ass for that because it was utterly inconsequential. First of all, it didn't even work. Everyone knows that he cheated on his wife with a porn star. So that that hush money didn't even fucking work. And second of all, even if everyone knows, which everyone eventually did, his his MAGA, MAGA cult didn't give a fuck. You know, it's unbelievable. Like, he must be thinking to himself, how did I fuck myself so badly with this stupid, with this one stupid decision? And it's hilarious that it was just one dumb idea of his to pay hush money. And by the way, this is the the ones that we this is the one that we know about. We don't know about the ones that we don't know about. Okay, I'm I'm sure he paid hush money to plenty of other women that he was cheating with, but unlike Stormy Daniels, they kept quiet. Okay. Um, we do know about Karen McDougal. I don't know if he paid hush money to her. I don't care. The point is, is that, you know, about the campaign finance stuff, this goes into, you know, the broader topic of getting money out of politics and stuff like that. In that sense, you know, Trump isn't anything particularly unique. He just didn't follow the rules. (laughs) You know, like, we often say, like, all politicians are, like, crooks, okay? Because they are, okay? And this is is worth uh, its own video, but basically, there's so much corruption and bribery in politics, okay? There's a system of legalized bribes. I'm just telling you right now. And Trump really isn't any different than any other politician. I'm just being honest with you, okay? The only difference is that he didn't follow the rules of political crooks. <laughs> That's it. So in that sense, you know, it's it's whatever to me. Um, 
I just think he's a dope for doing it. Like, what a dumb thing. You know, it didn't make any difference at all. Because his, his Magaspores didn't care. And maybe at the time, it, that wasn't quite so clear. But obviously, yeah, it's clear now. Um, the reason why I hate Drumpf, and the reason why we all hate Trump is because he's a racist. And because he did other horrible, awful things. His bigotry knew no ends. But it wasn't just that. It was the fact that he gave comfort and uh, um, emboldened uh the, the 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 bigger problem. The bigger problem isn't Drumpf, actually. It's actually the people who support him. Okay, Drumpf is a symptom of the disease. He is not necessarily the disease itself. He does make the disease worse, but he didn't cause it. The cause are the MAGAs themselves. Okay, the racist hicks in, in America. That's the root problem. But he is the manifestation, he's the physical manifestation of that sick disease. And yes, uh, hatred and hate crimes got worse because he gave comfort and he validated and normalized that kind of hate. Okay? So that's the reason why I hate him. But the thing is, is that you can't throw someone in prison for that. You can't throw someone in prison in America for being a racist. Or for all the other hateful things that he, he said and did. Sort of. I mean, you could technically impeach him for any reason, but then you would need a Congress that's not also racist. And we don't have that. <laughs> Fucking, of course not. Um, so because of that, you know, you can't get him for the stuff that he is truly guilty of, the stuff that he deserves to suffer for. Instead, we have to get him for all this other kind of stupid shit. Honestly, so this is the Al Capone thing, okay? This is the, well, we can't get Al Capone for murder, so you get him for tax evasion. That's it. I mean, it's, it doesn't really make a difference to us. He's serving time in prison uh, one way or another. Now, this is just a first step, okay? So this, this could very well not result in anything particularly egregious in terms of punishment for Trump. Maybe. I mean, there are quite a few counts. I think 36 or something like that. That's quite a lot. And if he gets uh, found guilty on all counts, I have no idea what the maximum punishment could be. And there could be some even more stupid shit like serving uh, serving time concurrently, which I hope is not the case. But even if it's not a very heavy sentence, um, what it could lead to is a snowball effect, like a domino effect, rather, where you push the first domino and then it leads to other dominoes falling. Because, like I said before, Merrick Garland's a fucking feckless coward. Okay, that's the reason why he doesn't want to make the first move. Because he's chicken. He's a chicken shit. And they are, who are they afraid of? They're afraid of the MAGAs. They're afraid of the MAGAs. They're afraid of what they might do. And he's also afraid for his own personal safety. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess who is in law enforcement? Guess who is in charge of protecting these people? These people's lives are always in danger because people don't like them. Right, because they they have to prosecute people, blah blah blah. People don't like politicians for the same reason. Why are they always pro cop? Because they have to be. Because if they aren't, then those guys aren't going to protect them. But quite a few cops are MAGAs, so that's the reason why, you know, people like Merrick Garland and other people who are in charge of, you know, filing charges are so reluctant, cowardly to do it. Because they they feared that, hey, you know, all these cops who are protecting me right now, maybe they w won't want to protect me if I try to indict their lord and savior, Dr Drumpy Boy. Okay, that's what's really going on. Um, but here's the thing, though. After the after this indictment, they're going to take a wait-and-see approach. They're going to they're gonna look at it and they're going to be like, well, what's going on here? How, how's, what, what direction is the wind blowing in? Is he going to get... The nomination is he losing popularity or are the magas suddenly starting to realize you know what it's not worth actually you know giving my life for this 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 maggot this thug this thug in a three-piece suit okay because remember what happened he he posted on his shitty ass social media account truth social he said get ready to protest i'm get, i'm getting arrested Get ready to protest. I'm going to get arrested, guys. Come on, help me. Help me. I'm going to die. Help me, please. What was he really saying, though? He was saying, because you got to go. You got to go right. You got to go out like what I accused the BLM of. You know, you got to go and destroy everything and kill people. You got to do all that. 
That's what he was really saying. He was trying to incite violence. Okay? Trumpy boy. Um, but what ended up really happening? Nothing. <laughs> no one showed up. No one did anything. Okay? Total non-turnout. Now, why is that? Maybe it's because they saw how he fucked people over during the January 6th coup attempt. Okay? Remember what happened with that? Now, we all know what happened with that, but what happened after that? He threw them all under the bus. They were all expecting pardons. Presidential pardons. He didn't pardon any of them, which was the right move to do, and thankfully he didn't do that. But the reason the reason why he didn't do that is because he was trying to cover his own ass, because he knew that if he gave pardons to these uh, terrorists, um, that would uh, only strengthen arguments to get him indicted on uh, inciting violence. So that's the reason why he didn't do that. He only gives favors to more powerful people. But the MAGAs, as dumb as they are, some of them at least, saw that. And they were like, you know what? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> at least some of them. So that's what I believe. I think that they saw what Drumpy Boy did during January 6th, or rather afterwards, and how he wasn't there for them. He threw them all under the bus, as they deserve. And now they're they're like, you know what? Maybe it's not worth giving my life for you, after all. Because some of them actually were crazy enough to do that. Because these people are mentally ill. Okay? They were willing to give their life for this fucking orange drumpf at one point. But then at least some of them saw... Yeah, you know what? I did like that he was a racist, but what he's doing now is not really helping us. Because what did all these MAGAs do at their trials? They all blamed Trump. They had no problem throwing him under the bus when it was when their feet were put to the fire. They're all cowards. They're all cowards. They're all stupid. No pity for any of them. They deserve none of it. These are all violent cowards. And Trump is the biggest coward of them all because he gets others to do violence for him because he is incapable of doing it himself. Because when you strip away all of his supporters, what do you have? You have just an ape, an orange ape in a three-piece suit that walks upright and is pretty retarded too and wears a toupee. That's what you get. So... We'll see how things go. Um, it is a historic event to have Trump being indicted, a former president of the United States. And look, this also needs to be said too. This is unprecedented because Trump is not the only criminal president. I got news for you. Okay, there's so like pretty much all of them are. <laughs> like you know, George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, these motherfuckers absolutely are criminals. Okay. But what did Obama do after Bush left office and then Obama became president? He said, we're going to look forward. No, we're not going to look behind. What? Well, wait a minute. You're a Democrat. I thought you were on our side. No, no. Obama's on their side. But it's like I said before. They have rules. They have rules that you have to obey. They will go to bat for you. They will protect your ass. As long as you follow the rules. And the problem with Trump is that he didn't follow the rules for rulers. And that is why the establishment, the business as usual, politicians on both sides gave him the cold shoulder. You know, even the Democrats, okay? I got news for you. Nancy Pelosi knew about the torture programs under Bush. Bush was torturing people. And Nancy Pelosi knew about it, and she ref she she was okay with it. She liked that. She didn't tell her supporters that, of course, but she personally supported that. And she protected Bush. That's what happened. And she refused to take measures to impeach him, even though he absolutely should have. Okay, but what happened this time? She took measures to impeach Trump twice. Why? 
because Trump didn't follow the rules. Okay, there's certain lines that you can't cross. There's certain things that you can't do. And one of the things that they hold sanctimonious is the transition of power, whether it's between Democrats and Republicans, even though they aren't they aren't buddy buddy, they still are buddy buddy. And there's certain rules to that, and you never violate those rules, right? So people are trying to look at Lynn Cheney, Liz Cheney, wherever the fuck her name is. I hate her. She's a racist. She's a loser. Okay? She supported all of Trump's political positions. She supported all of his initiatives. Every single political agenda Trump had, she supported. But when Trump refused to acquiesce and peacefully transition and shift the power over to the Democrats, he refused to do that. And it's not that Lynn Cheney is a, like is, it believes in rule of law or anything like that. None of them do. All they believe in is the rules for rulers. And that is the one line that Trump crossed that was uncrossable for a lot of these motherfuckers. All right, so that's all I got to say. We will see how things pan out going forward. See you guys later.